Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I want to talk eggs. Um, 2020 going into 2021 has been the year of egg questions, particularly about um, how to preserve short-term or long-term eggs. A lot of people have, for example, been trying water glassing or other methods. Well, I have some opinions about that. Uh, I have been, I've had chickens for many, 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 many years, and I've tried a lot of different ways to preserve them, both long-term and the eggs, not the chickens, long-term and short-term. And I'm hoping that what I have learned will help you. And maybe you'll get some different ideas on how to go about storing your eggs. There are two important things, maybe three, to understand before we get into how I prefer to store eggs. One is that when a chicken lays an egg, it has a natural coating called a bloom. And the purpose of that is to help protect the embryo inside the egg from bacteria. It's, it's like a coating that allows nothing to get inside the eggshell that could harm the baby chicken. And so if you wash your eggs, they are not gonna last nearly as long as if you don't wash them. That coating, even if the outside of your egg is dirty, that coating is actually protecting the part of the egg that you eat. When you buy eggs from the grocery store, the FDA in the United States requires those eggs to be washed. They're washed in um, a bleach solution. Ooh, because eggshells are porous, so ugh. <laughs> But um, if you buy your eggs, say, from a farmer's market or maybe from a friend who has chickens or ducks or quail or whatever, you want to ask, are these washed? It makes a big difference in how long those eggs are going to store and stay fresh. If you have your own birds, my recommendation is that you absolutely do not wash those eggs until right before you're ready to cook with them. Another thing to note about these eggs is you'll notice, of course, one end is pointy and one is round. The round end has a pocket of air the reason you want to store your eggs not in a bowl, a bowl is okay for short term. If you're wanting your eggs to last a long time, you want to store them pointy end down. If you store them pointy end up, the air pocket, the air in that pocket rises up and reaches the yolk and it can introduce bacteria, but most likely it's just going to make the egg not as fresh. So pointy end down. Another important thing to remember is if the egg is cracked or chipped or anything, it really should be disposed of right away. You should not be eating it. Sometimes they let my dog eat it. Um, you could let the chickens eat it. You know, I would recommend breaking the eggshell completely and disposing of the eggshell so because they can learn, oh gee, eggs are yummy, and then start eating their own eggs when you don't want them to. Um, the reason for that is, of course, once that shell is broken, you're in, you can introduce bacteria. Obviously, that is not good just generally, but it's really bad if you want your eggs to last a while. Okay, so let's talk about containers. So I just like to use a cardboard container. I like the 18 count. That works really well for my family. A 12 count is, it fills up just too quickly and takes up, it seems like, more room in the fridge, you know, stacking them high. 18 count works for us. Um, I like the cardboard because it lasts a long time, but then when it finally starts falling apart, I can just throw it in the compost pile. That said, some people prefer um, the plastic containers that are larger that you can buy online completely a matter of personal preference. It doesn't matter what kind of container you use as long as it's not a bowl, like I mentioned, for long-term storage. So the way I like to do it is I come in from gathering eggs and I put the eggs immediately in a carton and I have a carton in a separate section of my fridge, just on a different shelf, that I'm in the process of filling, okay? that So that one I know is I come in from the chickens or the quail, I can just pull that out, add eggs to it. 
When that one is full, it goes to the bottom of a separate pile of eggs or stack of eggs in my fridge. And that way I know when I'm cooking, I'm just going to grab the uh, egg carton that is on the top and I'll be using the oldest eggs first. Now, you will experience, I don't have any super bad dirty eggs. Well, some of these aren't too great, but you can take a peek here. So it's winter and honestly, eggs often come back dirty, even when you keep the bedding nice and fresh. Some of that's mud, some of it's poop. Let's be honest. I've had people say, oh, I can't believe that you store poopy eggs in your fridge. Don't you ever get sick? Well, the answer is no, because I keep them in a carton and they're not touching any other food. Um, it's really important to not wash them. Again, if you want them to last a long time, I wash them right before I use them using running water and a vegetable scrubber that is dedicated just for eggs. Let's see, I think that covers, oh, well, I didn't even tell you how long they last in the fridge like that. They will last unwashed in the fridge six months to a year. Yes, you heard me right, six months to a year. That's a really long time. And frankly, it's a really simple method of storing eggs that is very effective um, and better in my opinion than a lot of other methods like say water glassing which has sort of seen a revival in popularity this past year or so. Now you might be saying yes but then my fridge is full of eggs. That can be true depending upon how many birds you have and how fast you eat eggs and whether you're doing other things with them like selling eggs to friends or preserving it other ways. So. I have a couple recommendations about that. <laughs> um, currently, I have a little teeny old-fashioned fridge, and so yes, it gets full of eggs rather quickly. So my it's doable, I do it, um, and currently I don't have any other refrigerator on the homestead, but ideally, you would have a separate fridge, and I would just recommend using an old fridge, a used fridge, maybe an old fridge from if you upgrade or one off Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or something like that. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't even have to be very big. Most of us can probably get away with just a dorm fridge and just keep that in your garage. And what about if the power goes out? It's no big deal. These eggs, as you may know, eggs can sit on the counter for a while at room temperature and still be quite safe to eat. In a closed fridge, if the power goes out, they're going to be absolutely fine. You don't even have to worry about having a backup generator or anything like that if the fridge, as far as the fridge holding eggs is concerned. If you have other things in there, maybe. But So that is my number one recommendation for storing eggs long term, is simply to refrigerate them unwashed. Now here are some other things that I have tried. Um, I have definitely frozen eggs and I highly recommend it. Frozen eggs will last at least a year, maybe two. It, you know, it depends on how well you store them. If you um, put them in a regular Ziploc bag, they're not gonna last as long as if you um, use like a food saver type device to vacuum seal them. And it's a simple way you do that. You just crack them in a bowl, whip them really good so that the whites and the yolks are mixed together, and then pour them into ice cube trays or something similar. Let those harden in the fridge, pop them out, put them in a bag, and they're in the free freezer. And you should test whatever you use, whether it's an ice cube tray or something else. But generally speaking, one cube is gonna be one egg, and those are really good for, for cooking and baking with. Very simple method, doesn't take up tons of space in the freezer either. Um, Another method I tried before I knew better was dehydrating. So you use the jelly roll tray, tray covers and you pour your beet eggs in. You know, again, you want the whites and the yolks mixed together and you dehydrate them. Well, there's a couple problems with that. One is if you do them raw, you aren't killing any of the bacteria in the eggs if there happens to be some. And you are killing some nutrients, right? Some heat, so it's killing some nutrients. And it's truly not shelf stable because the bacteria can grow. 
Um, you can try, I, the way I did it way back when was I cooked them first thinking that would solve the problem. There were two problems with cooking the eggs and then freeze dry, I mean um, dehydrating them first. Um, and that was, number one, they tasted awful when <laughs> they were rehydrated. I didn't, we didn't like that at all. Um, but secondly, they still aren't considered safe. They can still, they're just not safe sitting on your shelf. So some people get around that by then freezing their dehydrated eggs. Theoretically, that should work, but why bother? Um, it uses up a little bit less space in the freezer, but you are using energy uh, to dehydrate them and you're losing more nutrients than if you just froze them. I just don't see that as a really useful tool for preserving eggs. Some people really like freeze drying their eggs and for sure it is a simple method. Again, you're whipping those eggs, putting them on the tray and sticking them in the machine and those eggs will last a long, 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 long time, a decade or more. Um, but not everybody has a freeze dryer, admittedly. So this brings us to some other methods that I'm seeing people talk about. A lot of them are really old methods, which is appealing to a lot of people, and don't require energy, which I understand if you want to be off-grid, then some of these methods will probably work better for you than the ones that I have already mentioned. One is using mineral oil. It has to be food-grade mineral oil, and you want to probably wear gloves when you apply it, but basically you're just rubbing the egg like even this quail egg, which by the way, I just store these in a regular egg carton. Um, I put a couple per little divot. You can buy special egg cartons for whatever size eggs you are raising, but I'm cheap. So they go quick anyway, but you do try to put them pointy end down. But I digress. Mineral oil all around it, and then you will stick it in a cool location. One thing about the mineral oil eggs is you want those eggs to be as fresh as possible. So I would say as soon as you go collect the eggs, you're going to put mineral oil on them, okay? You don't want to go more than 24 hours. Those are going to last six months to a year. So you can see already, this is not a better method than just refrig refrigerating or freezing unless you're off grid. Okay, now let's talk about water glassing. So I've seen a lot of people do this incorrectly. So make sure you read up on it before you do it. Um, one thing I see is people using store-bought eggs. You cannot use washed eggs if you're going to water glass eggs. If you have poopy eggs, they are not appropriate for water glassing either. Um, and water glassed eggs are only gonna last, I mean, it depends on who you talk to, but I think five months is about average. Um, so again, is it worth it? I mean, I know people like the idea of it sitting on their shelves with their canned goods, but I think there are better methods, personally. Another method, old tiny method that people use is preserving eggs in slacked lime. Now that lasts about six months to a year, those eggs, but again, they can't have to be unwashed. They can't be poopy. You have to be kind of careful because even the food grade slacked lime can be kind of dangerous. So just read up on it and know what you're doing before you attempt it. Um, a lot of people too think that they can can pickled eggs because we see them in the store. But the fact of the matter is that the methods used for canning any food that you see in the store is different than home canning. There is no tested safe recipe for canning eggs, period. In fact, mm, a few years ago, I can't remember how many, there was a case of botulism that hit, I believe it was a church picnic. It was a party anyway. And a number of people became very ill with botulism, including um, some elderly people who are really, you know, that's like very much life threatening to anyone, but particularly somebody who's elderly. It just isn't safe, don't do it. That doesn't mean you can't pickled egg, pickle eggs, you certainly can, um, but you need to store them in the fridge. And you know, opinions vary on how long those eggs that are pickled are going to last. But I would say on average, I would not personally keep them longer than four months. Still, four months might be enough for you. 
Personally, I would rather just store fresh unwashed eggs in my fridge and then pickle them a, a few at a time if I wanted to. But again, this is just about personal preference. There is also the possibility of preserving eggs in salt. I'm not gonna get too into that because it's a bit of a procedure, but it's kind of a gourmet treat. They don't last a super long time, so it's more about having that gourmet treat than it is about preserving them. I do have an article on the blog that goes into more detail about each of these methods of preserving eggs and the pros and the cons and the warnings and things like that, maybe my personal experience if I have it and I will put that link in the description. If you have any other questions about preserving eggs short-term, long-term, or any other homesteading questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. I read all the comments and I answer all the questions. Um, and I love hearing from you. I like feedback. Oh, and by the way, like, subscribe, share, all those things really help me and help me to bring you more content about my homesteading experiences and how you can succeed at homesteading also. Bye.